What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out when former wrestlers insult WWE in their wrestlers. We've seen this plenty and plenty and plenty of times where wrestlers that used to work at WWE, they you know after they leave the company or whatnot and they go somewhere else, uh, they may end up doing an interview where they may say some unsavory things about management, other wrestlers there, why did they leave? So it has happened pretty much a lot of times. The only person I can think of recently where they didn't just like talk bad about WWE was uh, Daniel Bryan, goes by Daniel, uh, Bryan Danielson in AEW. He left on his own terms. He finished out his contract. He didn't sign a new contract with him he left on his own terms and he kind of left that door for maybe coming back one day i could definitely see uh daniel bryan coming back to wwe because he didn't really burn any bridges he just kind of just left on his own terms and didn't really say anything too negative or whatnot it was just he wanted to go somewhere new and fresh so um but yeah this should be a good video appreciate all love and support let's do the damn thing can you dig it, dig it sucker? sucker. sucker. Who is oh, Jeremy CM Punk. Is Triple H. And why do you like Triple H? He's never liked me. Ever since I, uh, when I got my job in 2005, he's, he's, uh, he obviously actually petitioned for me to be fired. So I get to, I get to kick him in the face. This is why. I know some people are saying, well, maybe he'll go back to WWE. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Triple H is now running things. So, I don't know. Don't know about that. We've seen this clip. So, this is where we get to talk about your big brass gajones you always like to brag about. We're going to issue right now what I'd like to call the million dollar challenge. We have got with the bean counters and the upper echelon here at Total Nonstop Action. Unlike you ever did, they're supporting us. Mm. One million dollars. These two son of a bitches right here versus your two boys anywhere. <laughs> This ain't a damn wrestling match. No angles, no spots, no finish. Just men versus you two p***ies. And if you damn. know what it takes, you accept our challenge or you prove to the world that you're a gutless piece of shit. Damn. No, I'm not, a, I'm not a, an aggressive person, but I mean, if, if you try to humiliate me to, to make fun of me, of course I'm gonna fight back. 70% of those guys in the company at the moment, they have never been in a real fight in their life. And I hate to burst this oh, little wow. bubble that you're living in right now, but you won't be the first rapping hip hop poser whose ass I've kicked if this is gonna get physical. Oh, hey, he's definitely talking about Cena. Came knocking at my door. I told Vince McMahon, you can kiss my ass. Damn. Damn. If I knew how to beat Kurt Angle, TNA had to sign a big superstar. John Cena, I beat him. Batista, I beat him. Triple H had to sleep with the boss's daughter. I beat him. Damn. TNA present Dixie Carter. Yeah. This is a pro wrestling. Wow, the hate, <laughs> the hatred for WWE. <laughs> hey, look, guys, I know you guys oh, are like, seen watching this the match, before, you know, yeah. but like for television purposes, just trust me, I've done this a long time. Turn okay. this way, it works for television purposes. It's really good. Okay, watch the monitor, but they get a good profile oh shot. You know, you're right, it looks, you're kidding. It works well, trust me. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've seen this one before. And it's crazy. It's come full circle. He's he's with he's back in WWE and working along with Triple H now. It's come full circle. You see, what's standing here before you is not some silly gang of angry rookies. Oh wow. 
I'm a real one of one. And if I went one on one with the great one, I would make him the late one. And I'll give meaning to the name The Rock when I make you the most famous tombstone in pro wrestling. <sighs> he had so much up top, like so much potential, bro. Like his promos were catchy. The crowd got into it. It's just the backstage antics. Oh man, Enzo, bro. He he had so much potential to really be a top mid card, maybe upper card guy just because of his charisma alone. His charisma was there, through the roof. Sheesh. seen this clip before Jim Cornette you look like every other broad self-centered and banging some dude in the back wow oh. call yourself the runaway you didn't run away from anything you got fired yep good promo it sake was the best damn thing to ever happen to me uh, is it now because they're, they're not even using her correctly, in my opinion, in AEW, just from what I've seen. But that's neither here nor there. No, no. We're not going to use celebrity guest hosts every week on this show. It's the dumbest damn idea I've ever heard. <laughs> and I'm sure I am not allowed to say his name. I thought that tactical vest was just covering up failed drug tests. Yeah, I've seen this clip before, too. I'm not a sports entertainer, Chris. This is a wrestling company, not a sports entertainment company. My man, go down the block. Except I guarantee that this sports entertainment will actually be entertaining. Oh, <laughs> and WWF fired me for it. <laughs> you know, you're lucky you didn't break your neck. You and that's crazy, man, because now they're all about wrestling, which I'm all for. I'm all for. You can say the word wrestling now. In WWE, wow, have the times have changed. Insults to the floor. Kali, Kali, I'd tell him he sucked every day. Wow. Every day I told him he sucked in the ring, has not gotten better, and he should just quit. <laughs> Here's the news flash. Shut your mouth and sit down. These are my confidants here, the four closest men to me. This man right here. He definitely, we can all agree, Jericho was carrying AEW on his back when it first started. He was carrying that company on his back. No lie. This giant MMA fighter in the world today. Okay, hold on. I love that championship. We the people sucks Sucked. and it's dead and buried. <laughs> it was a stupid idea from bad creative and all that's gone. Ah, uh, ten years. I feel like he should should be way more over than what he is now. In the same house, you can take that brass ring and shove it up your ass. Was it a good idea? Was it smart that Christian left a big money contract in the WWE to come to TNA? Be honest, man. What would you be doing if there was no AEW? Oh, I know. You'd probably be jerking the curtain tonight at the performance set. That that was a that was a cool on segment the too. Scene. Busted my ass. So that I, I think we've seen this one before as well. Well, I've seen it before. A major wrestling company. I achieved that dream after six and a half years. I achieved that dream. I got hired over there. You hear the boost. First, I had a rocket ship up my ass, and then a little birdie got inside the boss's head. I think uh, I think. Kenny might be a little too funny. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think he's ready for it. All this stuff that you see right here, I was told not to do. I was told how to walk, how to talk, how to freaking dress. Hey, I was told that I couldn't even chew gum on the way to the rink. Fast forward to a phone call that I get from Eric Bischoff. You come here, we're gonna take the training wheels off, we're gonna let you be you. My name is... And that's the crazy thing, man. It, there was... The one thing we can say, some people may not like Triple H, some people may love Triple H, and just the politicking is, is definitely there. I'm not sure how much of it is there still in WWE, and maybe Triple H has changed when it comes to 
how he views what a, a superstar is in today's wrestling. And I do think his his idea of that has changed for sure than what it was 10 years ago. Some people make mistakes on individuals. Other people get it right, you know. Uh, I will say this. I, w- I, I guess you could say I'm seeing some type of a change within the product in a positive way. And Triple H is behind that. And, you know, hopefully it would be cool to see some of these guys who didn't really get that fair shake in the company maybe come back and get a proper run like Karrion Cross. Hopefully we see something great with him in the future. You know, we got Tom- Tommaso Ciampa. You know, he's been on the roster, but at some point I know Triple H is going to give him his opportunity to really shine. You got Johnny Gargano, you know. Uh, apparently, they're bringing back the NXT black and gold. And there's just a lot of things to look forward to for the future of the company. So, I know some people in these videos, these clips, they're kind of old and dated. But still, you know, they, they had their opinions on how they felt about Triple H and the management. And who am I to tell them not to feel that way? You know, I just can only hope that things move in a positive direction. Hey, man, you know, aha, promo God. I'm not picking a fight. Quite frankly, I have zero interest in wrestling in the Best Buy home theater section on Monday nights. And quite frankly, the ratings are down because the show sucks. But I'm money, and you can bank on the fact that Brian Tillman Jr. that I put up on my personal YouTube page has more views than the match he had on AEW's YouTube page with Sean Spears and Eddie Kingston combined. But I Damn. Why I did it, and I know what my goal is and what my mission is, and it was absolutely the greatest decision I made in my life. Spend more time with you guys, the great fans, and with WWE, everything was rushed. John Moxley's got a. The thing about Ryback, some people call him Cryback, is the stuff that he does on Twitter. The antics that he pulls on Twitter and, the you know, the disrespect he shows. Once again, I get it. I understand he had his gripes. But at some point, it's like you got to be able to move forward. And it doesn't seem like someone can move forward if they're constantly ready to throw shots at WWE because it didn't go well with them the first time around. But once again, hey, I'm not in his shoes. So maybe it was so personal that he could never forgive. I'm okay with that if, you know. If that's how he truly feels, okay. But I, I do feel like at some point, you got to let it go. You got to move forward. That's all I'm saying. A lot of fans. And he can be number one This was one a good one, heart. too. John Moxley <sighs> is the third best guy in his own group. He's Mighty how things have changed <laughs> in AEW with CM Punk. Oh, CM Punk. Oh, man. It's just crazy how things have changed. The only way changed. you're going to be number one is if we all wait around long enough for Tony Great segment, though. Lovely classic married. segment. End up there in the ring, and you, you look at him, Mike, and you realize maybe this is what they needed. They needed to have this, what looked like a pedigree. That's right. And then followed that up by yeah. setting up for the super. Listen to this. You are the reason why I decided not to stay in WWE. I was missing the love, the passion, the energy. Decided to have your first match out of WWE in Newcastle. Give me that right here. I'm not a sports entertainer. I'm a wrestler! <laughs> Hunter's redhead stepchild, and Hunter will sit in a room, browbeat me, and tell me I'm about to be fired. And then the next night, I get handed a microphone in the main event off Monday Night Raw. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 what? Next night I get hit. Redhead step up. I'm not a sports entertainer. I'm a What did you say? Hunter's redhead step up, and Hunter will sit in a room, browbeat me, and tell me I'm about to be fired. And then the next night I get handed a microphone in the main event off Monday Night Raw. Like. That's crazy. You know who kind of blew it? Stanford, Connecticut. Up north. Wow. Was he standing? That looked like he was standing next to Drew. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely Drew. Crazy, bro. 
and it's crazy how full circle it, it, it come full circle with him with drew as well and, and uh it's just it's just a lot of just a lot of interesting things on how people they introduce their or they they express their frustrations through promo segments and stuff like that um it's, it's crazy it, it's it's very interesting how all these things play out but hopefully just for wwe as a whole hopefully the product continues to grow in a way where you know fans and wrestlers are like alike are you know enjoying what they're doing enjoying what they're seeing enjoying what's happening because at the end of the day you know we we know wrestling probably won't be as big as it once was but you can still put on some entertaining quality televisions and you can also provide these wrestlers the things that they've been doing for their entire lives provide them opportunities to legit get themselves over and and become the stars that they're trying to be you know what i'm saying so i'm all for just the progressiveness in wwe wwe and in AEW, and just the progressiveness in wrestling it doesn't matter what company as long as it you know it continues to thrive and continues to grow that's which side i'm on so comment down below and let me know i want to ask y'all a serious question with Triple H at the head of creative and everything that's going on with WWE, do you think that it will continue to go in the right direction? How many of you guys feel like it's going to go into the, the right direction in the long term? Or do you think this just is the honeymoon phase and you think it'll go back to the way it once was? Because me personally, I do think, yes, we are in the honeymoon phase with Triple H, but I do think it's going to continue to go on moving forward. I have faith that hopefully they continue to give us great shows great television moving on into the future so that way we can look back and be like damn man when triple h did take over things got better the product overall is better so i, I just wanted to get y'all personal opinion do you think triple h being in charge has been a positive have you been enjoying it and do you feel like it will continue to grow or do you feel like it's a, it's gonna at some point go back to the way it was let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 100k appreciate y'all giving me see you on the next one peace